in the previous video lecture we have done with uh, introduction and definition of the function and predefined versus user defined uh, then user defined what it is and then what is main is it a predefined and user defined uh, now we'll see some set of C programs which can make you well understood about functions hello everyone this is Shravan Kumar Mantri technical trainer welcome to our channel CSE gurus I've taken a set of programs so where you can clearly see how to write the functions how to write the programs using function here you will learn not only the program what is the answer what is the logic you will learn how to write the functions without making any mistakes that is also we'll see now uh, now we'll see these programs the first program is something like had two integers of course separately two float numbers of course sum and difference we'll see how to make it so and not only that next we'll see whether the given number is even number or not and then we'll go for uh, prime number how to make it like this not only this i'll make it many more so starting with the first one uh, very simple like how to accept two integers and find the sum of course accept two float numbers how to get the difference so that is what here i want to make it like how you can make uh, to write the function definition this is where i want to highlight how to write the definition like uh, what is a return type how to make it how easily you can make it listen clearly so i want to write a program and of course the inputs are if i give 6 and 9 two integers what is 6 plus 9 15 is the answer if i make 2.6 plus 3.7 which is 5 i mean 6.3 so how to get it we'll see so here i'm starting first anyway i don't want to write the function definition first but afterwards i'll make it so void main so what are my inputs first of all my inputs are two integers of course i have taken two integers then i want to read them read the two integers uh, scan f percent ld percent ld of course the format specifier for integer uh, once you take two integers in generally what we do is uh, we'll try to write maybe print f percent ld a plus b but how to write with respect to functions so i'll write i'll take a new variable c c is equals to uh, instead of writing a plus b let me write through functions my function name is add what is the function name is add anyway the function name add is not predefined that's why i can make it as a user defined so which takes two inputs which is a comma b two parameters i'm taking anyway the variable c has to be declared initially so that is declared here add a comma b which means whatever a and b is given so it has to call the function add now outside the outside the main function i'm calling the function add anyway i'm not writing what is the return type now afterwards we'll write so two values you can make it int a comma b or some other also int x comma y even if you write a comma b also fine so here what is x value same as a what is y value same as b that's what i told you about actual parameters and formal parameters so here you can write simply like uh, i'll take a variable z initially what is z z equals to x plus y which means what is z value which is the sum which i want to return z so what happens here how this can be executed i'll take an example uh, let us suppose a value i'll take 5 b value 7 so here add a function which is a value 5 b value 7 which means what is x value x value 5 y value 7 this a comma b we call them as actual parameters whereas a, x comma y formal parameters now z is equals x plus y what is x value 5 y value 7 5 plus 7 which is 12 return z z value will be returned to here so this value totally is 12 which is c and now you want to print that value and one more thing we forgot to tell right here what is that the value what is written z returning something so it returns z which means you have to write a return type here so here what should i write is it int or float int only because you are returning z what is it integer so once if you return here this add of a comma b is integer which is c you can write anywhere like this print of uh, percentile d which is you can make it as c this is the one thing how to make it integer value you got it let us suppose now i want to take uh, float values that is also it is asking difference so two float values so float uh, i'll take it as p comma q 
of course the result i want to store it in r which is a float now you want to read them of course i'll read scan f of course two float values which are percent lf and percent lf format specifier ampersand p comma ampersand q once you read the values you are writing here you can see i want to make it a function let us suppose i want to write here uh, something like this here r is equals to of course the already a function is defined as add for only integers now i want to take two float values that's why separate function has to be written add if of course here i am not talking about reusability here i just want to mention like how to write the functions where should i write return int or float like this so add f which takes two parameters q p comma q like this anyway now i want to write here maybe here itself you can write or at the end also but i am writing here to make it well understood first what is the function name add f which takes two parameters p comma q what is p is it integer no it's float q float so that's why i'll take here float you can make it p comma q or something else where uh, other variable names so i might write the same which also not a problem float q so here you can see of course this p comma q the memory is different remember this p comma q the memory is different if you clearly observe this p comma q the memory this can be taken for main function and this p comma q this is a memory separately taken for add a function separately so both are not the same same memory values are same this p this p will be same because this is formal actual parameter if i give 10.2 here also 10.2 here it is 5.3 here also 5.3 the variable values are same here but not the memory remember this point now i want to make it here a variable of course r you cannot access this r here because this r is inside anyway i'll talk clearly about scope which is local and global afterwards of course it is float r because the output is r float so what is r equals to p plus q you can make it and you want to return what is r this is also you can make it and once you make it it will return r and what is add a value which is float of p p plus q which i want to print print of percentile f comma r of course if i write percentile f uh it will give precision 6 right anyway i'll show first the output afterwards we'll see uh, how to make it all these things maybe i'll make it slash in to make it in the next line to get the answer so i've written like this you can see two functions are defined now any anyway, first i'll execute i told you we didn't write function declarations that's what i told you some compilers it is optional you can see so you can see here it is giving an error because you returned r what is r it's a float right so that must be mentioned you didn't mention point number 1 other one you can see see here it is again asking uh, i mean again giving an error let us read this see it is telling here you can see conflicting type for add f because it is asking to mention the function declaration so here you can see what is p comma q float you are returning r which is float but you have to mention that so how to write the function declaration here you can see i'll copy this one here so you mention keep it by semicolon don't write the variable names like this now you see it is executed successfully now you can observe one more thing i've written function declaration for float but i didn't write function declaration for add function in t which returns in that's what i told you for some functions it will give optional so now even i want to write for this also function declaration so here if it is given an error why don't you make it definitely you can make it so that's what you can see here and i'm executing this you can see uh i'll try to make it here two integer values maybe maybe 25 maybe 35 uh two float values 4.7 might be 6.2 6.5 algorithm let us see 
which is 11.200000 like six precisions of course you know how to make it less precisions so instead of writing percent %l f you have to write percent %l point 2f which means only two precisions if you want three precisions you can write three now you can see here the output 6 comma 7 and 8.2 comma 6.1 of course whatever 14.3 two precisions you got it the output like this you can make it and now I can reduce it into less code like you can see uh, first thing here why should I take float R so I'll directly want to make why should I write R I'll directly write return P plus Q is it wrong no definitely not directly you can return which is P plus Q will be returned here which is add a value will be there and why should I write R here why should I directly print it this function so I'll copy this I'll directly write it as R value why not you can make it definitely not at all an error now similarly here also why should I take Z I'll directly write I'll directly write a return X plus Y so here it can be closed return x plus y so that is integer value will be written why should I write c equals to this is also not required I'll make it here you can see so I'll write it here as a c value now you can see is it wrong no directly so it takes printf percent %d add of a comma b it goes to the function but definitely you have written percent %d that's why it must return integer value you can see x plus y definitely integer value that's why you can see int is a return type if you write add f here it's you have written percent f which is float it must be returned so what if, if i write here instead of int if i write float something like this you can see definitely it is an error because it's conflicting type it must return an integer which must not be there so that's what you need to clearly check it out once you write the functions how easily you can write it I mean how correctly you can write it that is what very most important still I can execute you can see the answer I'll try to write 7 comma 10 and 5.8 comma 3.4 so this is what 10 7 plus 10 17 5 plus 8 5.8 plus 3.4 which is like 9.2 so that is what you can make it the first one with respect to functions here you can see uh, this is where add a comma b add f p comma q which are function call this is function definition for add f this is function definition for add function of course here we declared function declarations of course here add a comma b is the actual parameters here x comma y are formal parameters so like this we can mention we can write a simple program with respect to how to get the addition of two numbers